Mic check, mic check. What's good, Eagles Nation? It's your man Desert Eagle here coming at you with another video. First of all, do your boy a favor, man. Hit that like button for your boy and hit that subscribe. Since I'm going to be waiting at this stop for the next couple hours, I figure I'll make this video and holler at y'all right quick and talk about the Eagles and the Buccaneers. First of all, the Eagles are 3-0. Shout out to the birds getting the job done um, the other day. It was a Monday night game. Um, I, I, I picked my Eagles to win. But I didn't think it was going to be, you know, as I'm not even going to say dominant, honestly. Yeah, we won by two touchdowns. I mean, if you ask me after seeing the game, we honestly should have put up more points. I'm going to say at least 40. But that should have, it should have been that for the past two weeks, to say the least. I didn't have high expectations the first week. I mean, other than a win. But, you know, there's always sloppy performance. But last week, we should have put up 40 plus. We shouldn't even give up that many points. But. You know, it is what it is. You also got Justin Jefferson, and you cannot expect to contain Justin Jefferson, you know, back to back in the years. But, you know, he's him. It is what it is. But we got the win, and as for, uh, and DeAndre Swift ate back to back. You feel me? You feel me? Last week he ate this week as well. What I'm going to say about DeAndre Swift, man, that guy's a starter. And I don't know what to tell you, you feel me? But that guy's a starter. Swift. All I'm going to say is, man, the times that I've heard Lions fans thanked us for giving them C.J. Gardner-Johnson, I would like to, on behalf of Eagles fans, thank the Lions for giving us DeAndre Swift because that guy is eating. You feel me? And I'm going to tell you this. That guy's a starter. I'm sorry, Kenneth Gainwell. You know, I'm going to root for you regardless. But that guy's a starter, man. DeAndre Swift is literally the person we wish Miles Sanders was. You feel me? And I understand why we tried to give Kenneth Gainwell the starting position at first in the first week because based on how he played last season, plus he was the healthiest. He Technically, he was the healthiest on the team. I mean, Swift had his injury issues. I mean, he was out for like, what, at least four to six games? Same for Rashard Penny, half a season. So I understood why we decided to go with Kenneth Gainwell starting anyway. But it just shows for the past couple weeks Swift is all around the better person. And shout out to the offensive line as well. Both of y'all played behind the same offensive line, but Swift, Swift got it done. He's the man for the job. You feel me? And hey, listen, man, look. I'm just I'm just keeping it in hunting calling like it is, man. Swift is Swift is the starter. You feel me? You gotta commit with Swift. You feel me? Now there's talks that you know, we may be um, having Rashad Penny, you know, start getting some reps as well. Make sure all the running backs is uh, involved because we didn't really see enough of Penny. But, um, I, I mean, I can understand that as well. I mean, you feel me? And being as though Swift is, in my opinion, the most viable running back, you know, we got. I mean, you want to give the guy a break or so like we've been doing for A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith, you know, get involved every other game. I get that. I get that. That's what they want to do. I'm all for it. You feel me? I'm all for it. So uh, we'll we'll get to Washington. I mean, either this video or maybe my very my very next video. I don't know. Don't really care about Washington. I'm not really in a rush. You feel me? But um, but yeah, man. Listen, shout out to the birds though. We we dominate the Buccaneers, and that's the first win we've had in Tampa Bay since what? 2013. The Eagles got the job done. We could have done even better play calling wise. I mean, we did put up some points. Zacchaeus, number three receiver. Sorry, Quest. But Zacchaeus showed up, man. He was wide open for the passes. Got that touchdown. I, I ain't going to hold you. I, I, was, I was concerned that was going to be a pick, to be honest with you. But it wasn't. It was perfectly thrown by Jalen Hurts, who actually got hit soon after that throw. And, uh, yeah, Zacchaeus caught that. When was the last time we ever seen an amazing pass just, uh, just like that? Just beam it right past, like, three defenders right into Zacchaeus' hands. Man. Love to see it, man. Love to see it. But that 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 was just great. But I feel like we sh we should have done more. We could have done better. But play calling. I mean, thank God it's only approaching week four. You feel me? Thank God that was only week three, and we still got a long season ahead of us. And as this offense could get even better, like the Eagles, did, they they did they doing that. You feel me? They doing that. And this that's not even them. They're not even hundred percent. They looking like the best team. Beings, though, you know, we persevere. You know, we're we're feel, we're dealing with so many injuries, and we still winning games just like that. Hey, man. So that's how it is, though. That's how it is. But shout out to the birds, man. Got the job done. Shout out to the defense without a doubt. The defense was really what won us the game without a doubt. You feel me? I mean, I know, I know, people want to say, oh, it's Baker Mayfield. You know, you you beat you beat a trash. 
first round bust. You know, Baker Mayfield and the Bucks are trash. I mean, that that's 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 what they always say. You, you know how when the Eagles won those games and they had like a chart of excuses of why the Eagles won each game. Watch them put, watch them put Baker Mayfield up there and say beat a trash quarterback. But never mind the fact that the Bucks were two and zero. They beat the Vikings, who's not a, really a bad team. And the Bears, the Bears was a trash. The Bears was a trash team, whatever. But they put up 300 yards back to back, two interceptions each game. But they're going to ignore that, cause you know why? Cause they're hating. They hate to see us win. They hate to see us win. But hey, it is what it is, though. Haters going to hate. If you, that's how it always is, man. If you ain't got no haters, man, we ain't doing. You ain't doing shit right. It is what it is. You feel me? But yeah, man. Um. But back to us, man. First of all, the Eagles got that win, though. We dominated, even though it, it should have been more points. But, hey, a win is a win by two touchdowns. I'll take it. You feel me? Um, play calling can still be a little better. You feel me? There were some questions in the third down conversions and everything. Um, you know, people are still mad about the, the, the push the pushing rule or whatever. I mean, let's keep it a buck here. The reason y'all hate that because it's the Eagles. I just found out that was legal since 2006. What are y'all crying for? It was legal since 2006. Literally. We're talking almost, what, 20 years? Literally. Almost 20 years. What are y'all tripping for? Why y'all tripping? Y'all, I didn't see this energy when Tom Brady was um was doing that. And, and you know, back when he, was, when he was with the Patriots. Oh, let me guess. Y'all mad because it's Jalen Hurts. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Y'all keep y'all keep being mad. Y'all keep hating or whatever because the Eagles are winning, doing what they can to get first down. And as long as it's legal, hey, I ain't tripping about it. As long as it's legal, do what you do. At least we ain't cheating. It's last time I checked, it's legal to do that. So, anyway, that's all I got to say, though. Birds got that win. It's on to Washington. Let's, let's be, man, look, we're 3-0 and right now. Let's focus on Washington. Let's be 4-0. We're not going to take them for granted like we did last time. You feel me? We ain't gonna take them for granted. They, we we had them swearing up and down. They they were such a legit team because they 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 beat us last time. You feel me? We wasn't allowed to say we defeated ourselves, but the same haters that said that last year are the exact same ones using that exact same excuse. This is what it is, man. Um, but anyway, that's all I'm going to say, man. You hit that like button, hit that subscribe. As, as always, it's go birds, it's fly eagles fly. And I do want to apologize for not live streaming uh, for the past two games. But you know, the Vikings was a Thursday night game, and and the Bucks was a Monday night game. And as y'all know, I work during the weekday, and there are times I don't I get home late, and because because I'm a damn good worker, they're always going to keep the best ones running. You feel me all day, so. And when that happens, you know, when there's more money involved, that's less time with the birds, especially during the weekday. So, you know, for those that was expecting me, you know, I do want to apologize for that. I mean, in the end, as you get older, you get more mature, you know your priorities. And, you know, this this doesn't pay my bills. I love my birds. I rep this logo, but they don't pay my bills. You feel me? I'm going to focus on what's really paying my bills. So... I mean, this is a this, this is a Sunday this is a Sunday game, so I should be able to stream this one. So, you know, if you're looking, you know, if you you know you want to come back and look forward to that, man, just do your boy a favor, man. Hit that like button for your boy. Hit that subscribe. The birds are now three and zero. Let's go to watch. I mean, that's let's. I think I think we're actually hosting Washington. Hey, let's be four and zero. You feel me? Let's get that revenge because they got hella lucky last time. We're gonna get that revenge. All right. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna say, man. As always. Y'all have yourself a good one. Enjoy this beautiful day. Until next time, i catch y'all on the next one. Have a beautiful time.